Hey guys, uh, Daniel from Daniel Norris Effects. Yeah, just a quick video replying to Alicio Fattori. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. I'm useless for pronunciation. Uh, his question was, Hi Dan, in this video I see that the lens you use is a 55 to 250 EFS lens. Is that right? I'd like to shoot... I'd like to shoot on my black magic pocket with uh, a Canon EFS 17 to 55 f 2.8. Is it possible? And the truth is, yes, it is possible. Because I've normally you can't use EFS lenses on with these adapters. I don't know if the same is for the uh, the Metabones speed booster or the ones that don't have any internals in them. But with ones like th this. You can't, typically you can't use an EFS lens on there because, pardon me, uh, they normally have a raised area in in the middle. Because if you see by here, this is a normal EF mount, even though it's an EFS lens. And there isn't any raised area. The highest point is the contact. If it has an area that is higher than the contacts, it cannot, it is an EFS lens and that therefore can't be used on these. However, there is a way to modify them, though it is quite a drastic one. It basically involves taking a hacksaw to the raised edge, and that's pretty much it. If, if you can see over here, th this, I've modified this in that way, and I'll try and refocus it so you can see it. So if you look now, you can see that apart from this pronged part here, sorry, I'm working mirror over the monitor. Apart from this pronged part here, the raised the only raised area is the contacts there and you can see it's filled in by here what I've done is I've modified the bit I cut off I've shaved a bit off it and put it in within the lens so it, it still works see like that but it is a bit it's a bit uh, different this my other lens which I'll grab now um, right so that's with the 55 to 250 mil uh, and that worked re that worked best, but with my kit lens, because it was built a bit differently, I haven't been able to fill in any of the the hole that was left, because um uh, here you are. This is the part that was left over. This, that was left over. So this part used to be here and was raised about see that high and that was too much obviously so but typically, typically what you have to do is if you want to do this you have to take out these small screws that are in here so that you can disconnect the contacts from the mount and then just hacksaw the mount off and then reapply the contacts but as you can see by here this may not be very desirable for most people as because normally you'd have this here, and when it's when it's wide open, it sort of prevents thing sort of prevents things from get, getting in at the lens. It doesn't really because that's as far in as as it goes really. So dust can still get in there, but not as much as if it's like this. So do this at your own risk, I'd say. And it, as you can see, it exposes quite a bit of the circuitry inside. But anyway, um, so yeah, but even so. Doing this mod allows you to actually attach it to your black magic pocket, and especially with a mount like this, it it will work. Now, here's where sorry, now here's where an advisory comes in, which I find very strange to be honest with these lenses. Even though these are made for uh, the EOS sort of the Rebel line of cameras, so the, the 550D, 600D, so on, and so on. Even though it's made for those which have a larger sensor than the Blackmagic Pocket, for some reason, this one in particular vignettes a lot on the Blackmagic. And I don't know why. I think it has something to do with the flange distance between these lenses, that's meant for these lenses, and the sensor on this is different to that which this adapter creates I don't know but yeah this lens vignettes quite a bit 
This one doesn't. I, at least I can't remember if it does. I think it does at... I think it does when you set 18. You know, right up to 18. I mean, you know, if you stop it down slightly, or zoom in slightly, then it doesn't. Or either that, or it doesn't. If you if you, if you go in wide open, then it doesn't. And But if you stop it down, you start to notice a bit of a dark ring. I don't know, but... Yeah, so... If you want to do this with your lenses, it doesn't ruin them for your regular Canon camera. You know, they can still... They can still... Excuse me, with it... They can still attach just fine, and if you listen as well, it doesn't affect. If I, ah, oh, there you are. See, it doesn't affect the autofocus at all. See, it still connects to it fine. So, it doesn't ruin the lenses for this. It, not so much for that one, but for this one, it puts them more at risk of dust getting in internally, so take care of your lenses, if, if your kit lens or, you know, whatever, if it ends up looking like that. So, I wouldn't really advise doing this mod, really. I mean, I did it because I'm thinking about getting a speed booster, you know, the Metabone speed booster, which that, um, it has, uh, auto, it enables the autofocus. Pardon me. And I was curious, that when it arrives, I was curious if I could use it with these, and then maybe they wouldn't vignette, but I'm not really, I'm not expecting that time, I'm expecting the vignette to get worse somehow, but I don't know, here's hoping. So I'm going to leave it there now, I'm rambling on a bit now. So that's, that's my video on these, and I hope I answered your question, I know I rambled a bit, but yeah, you can modify them to fit uh, a Micro Four Thirds adapter, or to fit on your your uh, Black Magic Pocket, though I don't know how it will be for each lens, because these lenses, if I if I compare these two now, right, so yeah, this is an EFS lens. This is a an e this is an EFS lens, but it's not actually made to be an EFS lens, if that makes sense. You know, like, this one has an EF mount. This one is actually made for only EFS. And if I just hold, oops, sorry. If I just hold them up. Yeah, this is not a very good, right. If I hold them up, you can see the difference in size between the rear elements. So this one is, this one is designed to cover the whole sensor, I think or it's designed for a much wider variety of sensor sizes. This one is made specifically to cover that sensor perfectly, this is. So I don't know what was going on really with it. You know, why they vignette or anything like that. So I'm gonna leave it there now. I hope I answered your question. If if I'm not if there's anything that you wasn't that I wasn't clear on, please put it in the comments and let me know uh, what you think. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I'm Dan from Daniel Norris Effects, and I'll see you in the next video.